keeping a secret from you. Uh, you're actually looking at it. <laughs> so, um, this is my first personal reef aquarium. Uh, I always like do um, saltwater tanks for clients and so on, but I never actually own my own. That's like I know that's crazy to say because like that's what I do for a living, but yeah, I never wanted or desired one of my own until I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it just happened, and uh, yeah, basically you're looking at my first reef tank. Um, it could be deceivingly looking big, but in fact, it's only a 20 gallon um, square aquarium from Sipora. Uh, it's all live rock and corals. Um, what fish do I have in there? As you can see, I have my uh, two salsa dancers, as I like to call them. Uh, they're my clownfish. I have a star blenny there in the corner that's super excited. Uh, I'll zoom on him a little bit later. I have one damsel and I have a uh, one clown goby and then I have a fire shrimp, uh, an urchin, uh, two feather dusters and like a bunch of snails and um, like I have also here I'll zoom them as well. I have my Halloween crab who's right there and yeah I have a bunch of like hermits everywhere. So yeah, this is my first 20 gallon uh, reef tank. Um, it was set up about, I'd say like a month ago. Um, yeah, and I just started it off with live rock, live sand. Uh, the sand is Fiji pink from Caribsi. And I have like two types of live rock in there. One is the purple, one is just a regular one. And what you don't see is that I'm actually running uh, two hang-on filters. It's very hard to see from where we are. Anyways, the, the full capacity of my filtration is for like 150 gallon. So it stays pretty clear in here. And one of my filters actually has a surface skimmer right there as you can see. And I have my little heater. The coolest part of this whole thing is my Aqua Illumina, Aqua Illumination, uh, AI, basically um, LED um, spotlights and they're really cool because you can remote control them from your telephone, your tablet, your computer and they do a bunch of colors and effects and timer, everything is included. They're really, really cool lights, um, so I'm really happy about that. Uh, let's move on more about the corals. What do I have in here? Uh, I focus mainly on easy corals just because I don't want to break my head with like adding too much stuff to the tank. I don't want to do crazy water changes and it's a small ecosystem so I don't want to worry about it as much because the smaller your tank uh, in reef is, the more like you can mess up the parameters. Like one water change can just destabilize everything. So. Um, I kept it really simple. On the right, we have my Kenya tree. I have two Kenya trees. Uh, I have my feather duster. Here, I'll try to zoom up properly on it. I have a bunch of lovely zinnias next to my uh, turbo snail, my clown goby, my salsa dancers. I got a toadstool uh, soft coral. I have a bunch of zoantids. Those are some green ones. Uh, I have some red ones here in front of you. I have actually a fire red uh, shrimp, fire shrimp, right behind there. I think that's a scape. Anyhow, I have an acorn coral. I have a few um, more zoantids here. One doesn't open, it's just a client that gave it to me and it has like um, some, actually, here, it's coming off. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> it has some algae on it because the client had like really bad algae problems. Uh, so it still has algae on it, but it's looking like it's about to open, you know, I haven't given up hope on it yet. Uh, I have a Duncan right there. And this coral is really cool because you can feed it directly into their mouth and it just grabs anything. So that's really nice. Um, I have a blue tip um, torch. It's uh, LPS, I have some more zoantids, a hammer coral, 
I have two frog spawns. One is from Indonesia, the other one from Australia. They're doing pretty well together. I have this uh, leather that hasn't opened yet. Don't know why. I have another Zwanta there with the turbos now cleaning him up. And I have another hammer coral right there in the cor corner. And yeah, I have a flower pot coral here. Uh, they're very, very picky, but it's slightly opening. So yeah, everything's been doing pretty good in here uh, overall. Uh, I even have like, I saved a few of those, uh, what is it, star carpet um, coral and they're regrowing. Like honestly, these pieces were dead. Someone just told me to just trash them. You don't need that stuff. Uh, they're coming back to life, so never give up. And I have like some little frags of the um, Kenya tree. I love these trees. And normally this guy, he chills inside of the tree. I guess he likes it there for protection or something. I also have my flipped over ninja snail with the hermit crab there. Like it's full of life, that's what I like about it. It's too bad my uh, tuxedo uh, urchin is way out in the back with like a few shells stuck to him. You won't see him, but he's way out in the back. I have like a smallest scum that's stuck to the live rock. It's actually alive. And you see his little tongue coming out sometimes. So yeah, I'm just missing my skimmer, which is coming in on uh, next week, like in a couple days. I'm not sure I need all that much the skimmer in this one because I have a surface skimmer that's working pretty well. I have some Cheeto uh, seaweed and the transparent um, hangout filter in there. Uh, so that's pretty good for filtration. Other than that, I'm just running Purigen and I'm running um, Matrix um, Biopels and the big one and I have one wave maker so yeah this is my first reef tank <laughs> oh finally I can show you my story blending he's right there he loves hiding he's super cute so yeah let me know what you think about my first tank and your impressions and what I did here so far I'm super happy with it it's full of life and I'm sorry I was hiding it from you all this time I was gonna make like a step-by-step -step type of thing but I'm like, ah, oh, not yet, not yet. And then like one month in, I'm like, okay, I guess it's time to show them the secret. So I'm sorry I haven't updated, but from now on you'll get updates on this tank, I promise. Alright, so thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe if you liked it, and want to see more of my 300 and some videos. And yeah, leave me a comment. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.